camera and wish me luck. This little spot is definitely one of my favourite views, looking towards Gromners Bay and Horska over there in the distance. Beautiful scenery on the Ox Coast. I don't know if you can spot it, but down there there is one or two seals. I think it's just a little bit too small for you to make out there. They are sleeping over there and there's a really fat one, probably a male in the water. Let's head down. There is a little baby here, obviously the mum's going to see it, so we'll move away. Must be fast asleep, poor little baby. So I've got down to one of the main bays, I can see a cliff fall over there. I don't know whether anyone's picked through it, I'd imagine they have. Quite a big overhang at the very top where all the sandstone is. So it's quite sketchy. I'll probably not bother having a look in there. First find of the day. Looks like a little dactylioceros. Inside a water rolled beach pebble. Or maybe it's a hildy. Either way, it's pretty cool. One to take back. So on today's hunt, I'd be very happy if I find a really nice example of a Gramoceros, which is quite a rare ammonite to be honest. You can find it quite commonly here at Ravenscar, however elsewhere it doesn't occur. Lovely hildy, a little bit of damage. In fact, I think it's possibly crushed or pathological. I'm guessing crushed, but look at how it bends in. Very interesting. If you would like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called biofossil.com. I've got some really nice prepared fossils from the Yorkshire coast available to purchase. I also have boxes of ammonites where you can crack them open at your own house. So please go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Oh, look at that, the one. Dactylioceros inside there. A little bit of the keel has eroded, but it should be fairly complete. Look at the pyre on this negative. Someone must have cracked it open, but you can see the golden looking pyrite in the individual chambers, and that looks absolutely beautiful in the sun. Hopefully, it's picking it up well on camera because it looks beautiful in person. I've just picked up this quite large section of a Phyloceros ammonite. I'd love to find another one of these whole, especially one at this size. It'd be absolutely brilliant. Let's go ahead and do some rock splitting really quick. Wow, look at that. There's a really nice dark what has been exposed there. So I'll be taking that one. The keel is just sticking out. It's a tough one, so I'm going to take this one back as well. No point ruining them on the beach. Beautiful little bivalve shell, which I've just spotted amongst all the shingle. You can see quite nice detail on it. Well worth picking these up. Popped open, but unfortunately I have broken the middle. I will leave that one. I'm going to wait for the tide to go out a little bit and then I'm going to head over around there. 
in the search for rarer Gramosterous species of ammonites. So as I just put you away, I have spotted this rock poking out here and it looks like there is a nice big keel sticking out. So whether it's complete or not, I'm going to have to probably dig it out with my chisel. Right, that took a lot more effort than it should have. It was wedged well in between the rocks. Hopefully after all that effort, there will be something worthy of taking the time to crack this open and get it out of the rock. After all that, absolutely nothing. It was just a bit of the rock formation or something on the edge of the rock. Oh. How cool is this guys? So I was walking along and there's this really big piece of loose shale slab and you might notice in the very middle here there's an ichthyosaur vertebra really nice size which has been wearing out of it I'm very happy to find this I'm hoping it comes up in one piece but I'm going to go ahead and attempt to extract it fingers crossed it goes well, well Guys it's looking really good you can see it looks 3D almost I'm just hoping when I finally get it out, it'll come out in one piece. You can see some quite big depth to it there. A few more taps with the hammer and chisel and hopefully should have a really nice example of an ichthyosaur vertebra. Right then, wish me luck. Okay guys, so here we go, it's loose. Oh, look at that! Wow! Absolutely perfect on the inside, absolutely over the moon, and that is a trip maker. So now the hunt for the Gramoceros can begin. You can already see a multi-block. Heel spotted poking out of this rock. Nice looking Gramoceros. This one should pop really well. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Here we go. The middle wasn't preserved. That's a shame. Hi everyone, so I have literally had a five minute look around here. Not really done the bay very much at all. I want to get back and stabilise that ichthyosaur vert because I would pick a bit of marine reptile bone any day over an ammonite. I do always pick up these bits of sea glass, these more rounded shaped ones. I'm not sure if they would actually be classed as marbles, but I guess they are. And I did manage to meet my challenge of the day and I picked up this really warm Gramoceros, but it's still quite a nice example. Bit of beeswax on and it will come up quite well. That's everything for today, so hopefully I've enjoyed it. Really pleased with that ichthyosaur vert that I've got over there, and I will see you all back home. <laughs>